Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and I am a second year dental student and I'm coming to you today with another Anki tutorial. This is gonna be something really quickly I wanted to show all of you that I just kind of figured out how to do and it has made a world of difference in my process of making Anki cards. So let's get right into first my, uh, my tutorial showing you how to actually do this and then uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of my theory behind why I think this is an important thing to know how to do when using Anki. So of course, the topic is actually adding YouTube videos to your Anki cards. And this is something that I've really wanted to be able to do for a long time, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it. Turns out it's actually a lot simpler than I thought it was. So let's hop right into Anki and I'm just gonna pop into any deck here just so I can add a card. And of course, start with clicking A and we're into the add interface. One quick note is that I did actually finally update my Anki to, I guess it's, 2.1.48 now or something like that. So I have finally updated my Anki from what it was, which was a previous version. But whatever version of Anki you have, this should work. It's worked for me uh, for a couple of different ones that I've tried it on. Uh, so first, as I'm making a card here, I can I can really just type in anything. Let's let's just say what uh, what's the function of Edrophonium. This is an example of kind of a question that we've been uh, we've been tackling in our pharmacology class. And so here the answer would be uh, diagnosis of myasthenia gravis. And so there's your card. Now in the extra box here, I would typically add in some additional information, uh, something like a, uh, a screenshot of some pertinent information, maybe the slide that you gathered uh, this information from when you're initially making your cards. But how about adding a YouTube video to make the process of studying a little bit easier? So let's say I'm struggling with the idea of edrophonium. I keep forgetting what this actually means and what it does. Uh, I need a YouTube video to help me out. So let me pop into Safari here real quick. I'll type up YouTube. So I've just searched up edrophonium and this is a, uh, a YouTube channel that I've really been enjoying lately, especially for pharmacology. This is called Pixarize and they make these cool cartoons to use to help study these drugs. Let's say this is the video that I wanna use here. It's very simple what I'm gonna do next. I'm simply gonna go over to the share option that's right here, click that, and then I'm gonna hit embed. Click embed, come over here. You're gonna see this embed video right here and all of this information. All we're gonna do is click and drag through all of this code and we're gonna hit command C on Mac to copy all of this embed code. Now this is important. Let's go back over to Anki and get into our extra box. This is where we want to actually embed the video. And now I'm gonna hit command shift X on Mac to open up. This is called the HTML editor. And in here, all I have to do is simply hit Command V, and that's going to embed all of this embed YouTube video code into the Anki uh, extra box here. And then all I have to do again is hit Command Shift X. And as you see, this has embedded into the card. Now, if I add this card right here, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm actually studying. Let's hit spacebar to study. So here's my question, what's the function of edrophonium? And I am tr having trouble uh, remembering what this actually does. So when I click my spacebar to answer the question, the diagnosis of myasthenia gravis, and also I have this YouTube video here now, which I can click on and watch in my Anki card. It's gonna give me all sorts of extra information. It's gonna give me a good explanation. In this case, it's giving me a nice graphic uh, and a nice, um, I guess, cartoon to remember the function of edrophonium. So this is a perfect example of the way that I would use embedding YouTube videos into Anki cards. And it's absolutely as simple as that. This is something that once again, just like anything with Anki, the keyboard shortcuts get really second nature to you. And you'll be able to just quickly add in these videos as quickly as you can find them. It's super, super seamless. And that's it for the tutorial portion of this video. If that's all you needed, good luck with the studying and uh, thank you for watching. But for the rest of you, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit more, just kind of my theory as to why I think this is important. And it all goes back to this idea that I keep talking about, which is creating cards that are as effective as possible. When I first started using Anki, my cards were as bare minimum as possible. I basically only included a question and an answer. I don't even think at the beginning I knew how to use closed deletions or what those were. The point is I was extremely basic with my card making in the beginning. And while I think on the opposite end of the spectrum is putting too much time into making your cards, I think there's this happy medium in the middle where you can really make good cards that are gonna actually give you enough information to learn the material that you're learning uh, that doesn't take 
too long to actually do. In my opinion, YouTube is the greatest resource that we have as students outside of our own schools and professors and classrooms and all of that. YouTube is out there, it's free, and there's so, so, so much information and wonderful teachers teaching you all sorts of things at the click of the mouse. So the way this works for me is typically as I'm going through and studying my cards, I'll be struggling with a certain topic. And what I would traditionally do would be I'd go through YouTube separately on a separate uh, browser and figure out like what videos worked for that topic. But then when I would come back to studying this card again, let's say a few days later, I've forgotten what video I watched. Maybe I forgot that I even had a video. It's not linked with the card. But now with this method of embedding YouTube videos into your Anki cards, you now have the video there and it's gonna stay there, assuming it stays up on YouTube. And that to me is just another really, really powerful way to add more helpful information for you when you're going through and studying your cards. The entire point of making Anki cards is making a set of flashcards that you're gonna be able to actually learn from. It's not about numbers. It's not about studying a certain number of, of these things arbitrarily every day. It's about actually learning the material, of course. And so if this is something that we can do that takes, in my opinion, like 10 seconds top, to do, um, we should do it. It adds in more helpful information and it honestly just makes the experience of studying a lot more informative. And it's less about learning a bunch of words and learning kind of like the way the cards look and more about actually learning the topics and learning the material so that when you get onto an exam and they throw you a bit of a curveball, you now have the information up here and you can answer the questions effectively. So my friends, that's it for this video. That is how you add YouTube videos to your Anki cards. And I hope you enjoyed this Anki tutorial. I've been talking quite a bit about it lately because there seem to be a lot of people who enjoy this style of content and enjoy just kind of learning more about this app. I am by no means an Anki expert. I am not an Anking. I am kind of just like you, just learning as I go. And I'm, I'm asking myself questions. What could I do to make this experience better. And one thing, like I said, that I've been wanting to do for a long time was to add videos to my cards. Now it's super, super simple and easy to do. And once again, I did update my Anki to the new version of it. So now I have, I think they're calling it sticky fields, which is with little pin on the top right corner of the, of the box. So it's a little bit different than frozen fields. And there are a couple of different changes, uh, but overall I'm enjoying using the app. It's helping me get through dental school. And I honestly, still to this day, I talk it up to anybody who has questions about how to study in dental school or undergrad or whatever you're in. And as always, make sure you head down to the comments and let me know what you want to see from me next. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. I honestly love to hear from each of you and I I just appreciate all of you. As I always say, I just held my 4,000 subscriber giveaway on the channel this week, and it was super, super fun. And I'm really excited about the way that turned out. So if you were part of that, thank you. And if you're part of the next 4,000 subscribers that's coming to my channel, welcome in. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to have you here because I think the future of this channel is going to be very bright. So thank you all for the support as always. And as I always say, I'll see you in the next video.